it was time for an up north adventure. A destination like nowhere else. A destination that has the most musky lakes in one relatively small geographical area. More musky lakes than anywhere else I know of. Northeast Wisconsin. With some of the most diversified lakes, rivers, and flowages anywhere in the U.S., from super deep, super clear bodies of water to dark stained flowages, all teeming with life. It truly does have it all. It is the ultimate musky playground. So now it was time to run and gun. Time. Not a question of if, but a question of when, where, and how. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Great Clips. Quick Trip in the Boat Center. My plan was to fish with Brian Schaefer. Our tactic? Well, it was simple, run and gun, hitting as many lakes as we needed to find active fish. Our first stop would be a flowage system. Dark, dirty, stained water best describes this flowage, with huge shallow flats as our focus point, throwing top water, bright bucktails, and glide baits. 73 degree water temp, you've lost a couple degrees, huh? There comes one. Right. Oh. oh, there he comes. Oh, God. He nicked me off there, too. Oh. I don't know what he got on. He nicked me off there, too. I just had a nice fish up using this uh, DS4 here. Just fishing some thick weed beds. It looked like about a low 40s. Thick low 40s came up. I felt the neck. Seen a big wake. Followed right up and sun shining on us. No way of seeing us and turned off. But we have her marked. We know where she's living and uh, we'll come back for her. We'll see what happens. But these have been hot this year. Great bait. After fishing through a really nice window and nothing to show for it but follows, it was time to make a move to a small deep lake close to the Wisconsin-Michigan border. And like I said, this area is the perfect run and gun area anywhere I know of. This year we've had a lot of weather changes. Warm, cold, warm, cold, we're on the downswing now, it's cold, so, and that's when we've been getting fish, so hopefully Mike and I can put one in the boat here. See what happens, but beautiful structure. That's good. It's all that same weed from the rainbow. Uh, 
You got one coming, it's way behind you. Is there another museum out there? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. How big was he? Yeah, 40. He was way, way behind way it, behind. Huh? You're going in your foot right and I see him 10 feet behind the boat. So that was about a 40 incher. I thought she was going to eat it. You definitely don't want rubber. I thought she was gonna So it's game day and you need to get your hair in shape. Enter Great Clips. Our skilled stylists save your haircut details and clip notes for the look you love almost as much as your team. We got you and you got this. Great Clips. It's gonna be great. TV is an all-new outdoor streaming channel on all Roku devices. And it's free. Loaded with lots of top-name outdoor fishing and hunting shows. Shows like Larry Smith Outdoors, Chase Nation, The Sportsman's Journal, Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods, just to name a few. KOTV is all about the adventure, all about the outdoors. And best of all, KOTV is free. Learn more go to kotvchannel.com. You have a wedding and you forgot to get a haircut. Just open the Great Clips online check-in app. In a few taps, you're in, out, and wow. Pretty much the best looking guy at the party. We got you and you got this. Great Clips. It's gonna be great. Well, we were off to a great start on the second lake of the day on this small deep border water lake. We moved a couple really nice muskies all on the south side of the lake. A real nice weed edge with some interesting contours, some real nice weed points that protruded out into the deep ending in about 16 feet of water. Ah! 
Alright, here we go. Fish number one. Little guy. Nice fish. On a bucktail. Oh, he jumped, dude. All right, here we go. We worked hard for this, bud. First yeah, fish, we've him. seen like eight fish. I only got one to go on a junior cowgirl. Nice fish. New body of water, for me anyways. And uh, we're gonna get this girl in the net here. Woohoo! Sweet! Another adventure begins. And uh, what we're doing is, it's been very hot. And we've had water temps fluctuating all over the place. And uh, air temperature as well. Muggy, hot, and then we finally got some rain to come in and kind of cooled things down. As you can see, we've got hoodies on. And uh, we decided to go to a lake in northern Wisconsin uh, quite a way. Brian, Brian's fished this, but he fishes it only a couple times a year. He said there's good numbers in here and there's good fish in here as well. And uh, we've moved eight so far. And finally we got one to go on a junior orange and black cowgirl. So a little uh, tip of the hat to Dave Lutz, because I called him, he used to have a place up here. And I asked him, uh, when we got here, I said, what colors do they like? And he said, orange and black. And lo and behold, voila. All right, so let's get this girl out. Take a look at her, nice little fish. Oh, she's out. It's a good start. Good start, man. We'll take it. Nice little Northern Wisconsin, musky. We like them all, big or small, they all smell the same. But what a what a good start. Nice looking little fish here. Nice fish, fishery too. Like I said, this is fish number nine that we've seen. So let's get her back so she can grow up and be one of those big girls that we're looking for. Beautiful little fish. Northern Wisconsin, baby. It is the end of July. And there she goes, back down. You know, a little slime time. Right on. Way to go, Brian. Boom, buddy. Good call. Uh, we're going to keep fishing here and uh, hopefully stick another one. Let's get back to work. Nice fish, man. Nice one. Come to the back. Tiger. Tiger, dude. Buddy, way to go, Brian. On top water, Lake X. 
little fat bee. And we're done. There's mosquito haven here. Yeah. She wasn't going nowhere. I got Mike's pants on here. The mosquitoes are so bad, we had shorts. I didn't bring no pants, but we got a nice tiger here. God. Nice tiger, man. Beautiful fish. Nice fish, Brian. Way Beautiful. to go. Lake X, Feb B. Just gobbled her right on the surface there. Beautiful fish. Look at the colors on it. Let's get it back in the water. Here is buzzing. This kid is so bad. Bow! Bang! Alright. Fish number two, man. Yeah, we've been working hard, moving a lot of fish, and uh sun went down and they're snapping now, so and so are the mosquitoes. It's unbelievable out here. But thanks thanks Mike for your, your pants that actually fit. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> Let's get this. I don't think that really matters. It just had that orange belly. That's the one. Actually, I'm not too sure what the color or name of this is, but it works. Thanks, John. Let's get back to work. Let's get another one. All right, here we go, guys. Fish number three for us tonight. Again on blades. All right. Oh, it's off. God dang it. Should have taken her quicker. That's the problem with filming at night. You're waiting for cameras to get booted up. Uh, about, I don't know, maybe about 36, 38, somewhere around there. Mosquitoes are just absolutely insane. insane. It's, it's incredible. And uh, as you can see, they're just swarming around me right now. But uh, fish number two on blades, we're, we're going to keep going. But we got to figure out a lighting, something a little bit quicker than what we got going on here. But uh, that would have been fish number three for us. So back to work on blades again on the junior and you know slow rolling the blades black and orange so right on let's get another one we need another one now we're throwing in the towel for the night um, we don't have much light out here and uh, bugs are really bad. So we got two in the boat, Mike lost one. I think we had like eight fish up. Um, it's a good day overall, you know. We got tomorrow, we're gonna try it again tomorrow. See what happens. Um, but two fish in the boat, one lost. Not a bad that day of fishing. See what tomorrow brings. I think we got the same weather tomorrow. Got northwest wind, so. Not too much to change. I think we're going to try a couple different ones. It's kind of lake hopping now, so we need a big fish. We got some fish in the boat now. Now we need a we need a queen. So hopefully tomorrow. See what tomorrow brings. Yesterday we had a lot of action. Um, we're in day two now and uh, had a lot of action and um, the sun went down, the fish turned on. So um, we ended up with two in the boat, 
um, one lost, but we had some good action. And as soon as that sun went down, the fish went off, and they went off for about an hour and a half. And the bugs got so bad, we had to leave. So, but now we're going to try a dark water system here and see what we can do for the day. And then we're probably going to change again. So, hopefully, uh, we're in search of that bigger fish. All right, so Brian being a guide, we were just having a conversation about when he brings clients out. And when we're fishing these weed pods like that, they're really thick. The last thing you want is your lure to sink down um, because then your retrieve is just going to get covered with weeds. So it's really important that you engage the bucktail immediately. So basically, you cast, switch hands, click right when she hits the water and you don't have to worry about it. I see a lot of clients, they'll cast it out. They don't switch hands until it hits the water and by that time the bucktail or your bait's already sunk into the weed. So switch hands before it hits the water and as soon as the bait hits the water, and not before, but as soon as it hits the water, then start your retrieve. We would fish all day on the flowage with no luck. The day before hot spots, well, they went cold. It was time for yet another lake change, this time to a super clear body of water. Maybe this is what we need to get our luck to change. Well, here we are once again. We made another lake change. We're back to a clear body of water, deep body of water, and uh, we're checking out some spots right now. It is uh, 5 o'clock, and we wanted to move and make a move to this clear body of water um, for the night bite. So we're just checking out some spots right now and hopefully um, put a big one in the boat. There's Cisco's in this body of water, um, deep. I mean, like we're looking at a piece of structure right now, 30 feet down. So we'll see, we're gonna fish her out. Hopefully catch a big fish. Fish here. I just had a nice one up in low 40s, nice thick fish. Right up on a 10 9 combo. We moved up on the weeds here and we're moving fish. They're starting to surface around us, so we might even throw a top water. But yeah, he, same thing happened to us last night, you know, right at dusk. We're just getting in August now, so the night bite's really going to start happening here strong. And the last few days, we can really tell. Right at dusk, right through the night now, they're starting to go, so. Put on a Lake X Fat Bastard here. This one has the extra split ring, so it clicks on the blade, just gives it a little extra ting to it. So let's see what she does. But we've been getting fish at dusk on top, so let's, let's get a fish. Hey man, we're hooked up. Hooked up. Hey, 
like X Fat B, figure eight. Please sneak around here, buddy. Nice fish, Brian. That's a nice one. Yeah. Way to go, bud. That's a thick one. It is. Oh my god. She is angry. Oh no. Alright, we're gonna bump this fish. We got this wrecking rack here. It's convenient tucked away here. So let's see what we've got. Forty-two. Right on, Beautiful brother. Fish. Like I said, there is truly no area on all of Muskie Range that has more lakes in such a small area for you to fish. Lake after lake, all kinds of water, from small rivers, flowage systems to huge, deep, clear bodies of water. Northeast Wisconsin has all that to offer. Not to mention just the up north musky vibe that you get when you're up there. Like I said, it is truly the ultimate musky playground. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures has been brought to you by Great Clips, Quick Trip, The Boat Center, Skeeter Boats, Yamaha, as well as other sponsors that help make Keys Outdoors successful. Please support their services, products, and gear, as well as their beer. And make sure that you check out Keys Outdoors on our YouTube channel, as well as our KOTV channel.com.